Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. This week, what we are going to do is to begin our journey into character development. And what we're going to do is take all of the lessons that we've been working on this semester and channel them and funnel them into these types of exercises. Because what we want to do is create characters. Our first activity this week is going to be centered around aging. Now, aging is used within your vocal process in voiceover work, but also in regular plays. Sometimes a play or a film will have a flash forward or flashback, and the only way you can convey that time passing for your audience is through the vocal choices that you make. But how do you do that? What choices do you make within that process? Well, we're going to go over that. So if what I need you to do is go and find a piece of text. This could be a monologue. It could be a poem. It could be any piece of text that you have kind of laying around. What I want you to do is go over it so that you feel confident in what you're saying. And then what I want you to do is read the first line as though you were five years old. Then read the second line as though you were 10. The third line and the third sentence as though you were 15. The next sentence as though you were 20. And keep going all the way down until you were about 120. What I want you to do is pay attention to the vocal choices that you make instinctively to show your audience that you are aging. What does your body do? What does it want to do? And then what I want you to do is sit down, write out, and upload your experience. What did you learn? What did you learn about yourself? Maybe there were some ages that you really, really nailed and some that you struggled with. Well, if that's the case, read other examples from your peers and see if maybe they had a breakthrough that you didn't know about. And that way you're learning from, we are learning from each other's experience. And that is where learning can occur, both through our own experience, but also through watching and learning and listening about others' breakthrough as well. Because sometimes your idea can spark an idea in my head and it can make me better. All right, everyone. I can't wait to see and read about your experience. I'll see you soon.